Okay, folks, we are at the National Theater in Washington, D.C. I'm going to try to show you what I can here. Let me get my camera turned around here. We're loading in the show Mrs. Doubtfire, as you can see on the marquee here. And we got the trucks parked on the side. We came down into the venue here on E Street. We're in between 13th and 14th Streets. Bring you down here and I'll show you. It actually turns into Pennsylvania Ave, as you can see on the sign right here. But it's E Street before this. And what we do is we have we have cones here, and we have our parking set up. We had five tractor trailers load in here today for the show. I'll try to get down through here before I get run over by traffic. Anyways, we come down to this intersection here, Ron Brown Way or 14th Street, and we turn right on 14th Street. We go right up 14th Street here and halfway up the block. We end up doing a, a blind side back. We have to be out in the street there and get the truck in here. We end up coming right down in here. Now it's a 13-6 clearance. We've got to get right in here off of the street and what we initially do is we stop before this bar here and we slide our tandems all the way back. We'll show you the view out to the street. Parked right in this section. We slide our tandems all the way back and then we drop our airbags. And as you go over the hump here where the hash lines are, uh, the landing gear can rub also right here. So, but we got to watch this 13 foot six clearance here and at the bottom of the ramp down here. There's signs that the trailer has hit before. Right overhead on this yellow paint. And then once we're down in here and we're straight, we're, we're level, then we open up the doors and we back up to one of these two docks back here. This, uh, this ramp that's on the ground, we got a team of stagehands that will lift that ramp and we'll back our truck right up to it until it's locked in tight up against the ramp. Then uh, on load in, we're only doing one trailer at a time. On load out, we're doing two. Uh, we'll use both docks. But on load in, we're only doing one. So this is our loading ramp. And the ramp here goes up into the venue up in there. And I'll turn around here. This shows you the, the overall garage that we have to deal with here. We do get two trucks down in here from time to time. I don't think I've ever seen them do three here, but we've done two. So it's basically a straight shot back down in here when you're down in here, but you do need to be close to the driver's side wall to use this ramp on this dock. And this is the National Theater in Washington, DC. This is what we have to deal with. It's not too bad out on the street. Like I say, we come back up out of here and we're doing the same thing. We're getting up here and we are sliding the tandems all the way forward and reinflating the airbags when we get up here again. But like I say, we have to worry about this overhead here. 
13-6 clearance. If we don't drop those airbags and uh, run the tandems all the way back, we run into problems here at this venue. So this is what you encounter here at the National Theater in Washington, D.C. And of course, we've got enough lanes of traffic out here. Enough lanes of traffic out here that uh, we just got to stop all this traffic to get in. It can be a pain. When we come out, we generally come out, we come around and make a couple of hand, right hand turns and end up right back down where we're staged back there, down there on, I call it East Street, Pennsylvania Avenue, I guess you call it. So I'll come right around to here. Go right around the block like I do with a truck. Once we've pulled out of the dock, we come around and just keep making right hand turns until we're all the way back down onto that other street. It's not too bad of a place. Just got to deal with the traffic and the uh, the people at the venue, the stagehands, all come out and stop traffic with stop signs, safety vests, etc. And we make another right hand turn here. And down to the street that we normally stage on. It's not too bad of a venue to get in and out around here. Actually one of the more enjoyable venues. Like I say, we come in on East Street from that direction. And then we come down, like it says, it changes Pennsylvania 1300 Ave right there. So this is Pennsylvania Ave that we stage on. Right along on this curb side here. Of course, all the four wheelers love to use our parking here, even though it's ours. And reserved for us and our our show. Gotta love it. Back to my truck here. There's a nice little park on the other side here. A lot of skateboarders have been out here skateboarding today. I've been out here with my one wheel. I went over there and skateboarded with some of them for a little while. I'm losing daylight quickly here though too. <laughs> Anybody coming? Nope, nobody coming from behind me here. They won't run me over. It's against the law to run people over. Hi, hi. <laughs> So yeah, we got a bunch of skateboarders up on this park up here. Had a bunch of them earlier. A lot of them are left now. But they're out here doing skateboard tricks. Doing the skateboard tricks. Like I say, a lot of them have gone home now. There was probably 30 or more of them out here. Now they're almost all gone. It's only a couple of them here and there. Hey, they'd be pros if they landed their tricks, right? A few of them land their tricks. Nice little place to for the skateboarders. And like I say, the National Theater is right there. Our truck's on the other side of the street. Mine's the red one, and Chris Cruz is the green one. There's the National Theater and the marquee for Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, skateboarders are jumping our cones. No wonder we don't have all our traffic cones. They got them up here and they're skate jumping them with skateboards. 
There's my truck again. There's some marquee for Mrs. Doubtfire. And like I say, we usually have uh, four or five tractor trailers on that side of the street, the other side, in between 13th and 14th streets. Skateboarders are doing their thing. Let's see if he's gonna jump here. See if we can follow him over. All right. Good jump. Okay, enough plan for the day. <laughs> As I go running around on my one wheel myself. I don't know if I can get an angle on it so you can see it or not. No, not really. Can't see my one wheel. It's under me. It's there. <laughs> and I'm not jumping any cones here today. Alright folks. I think that's about all I can show you here for the National Theater. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Looks like a Capitol building down in the distance down here. Let me turn that around and see if you can see the Capitol building down there. Way down in the distance. We got the Capitol building. Way, way down there. Basso's cars with their damn high beams on. Ah, uh, looks like a Capitol building to me. Alright, folks. Skateboarders doing their thing. I'm too old for tricks. Alright folks, I think that's about it for today. How's it going guys? Go for it. Go for it, I'll chase you. <laughs> Almost lost the skateboard in traffic. <laughs> Good try, man. Alright folks, I'm having too much fun. Time to go back to work. The crew is on uh, dinner break. I'm losing daylight. It's time to put this camera away. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, subscribe, click like, share with your friends, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think.